May 25th, 2018. Say hi to everybody. Hi. We are up, ready for the school run, but today's a little different. Amber's gotta do lots of work, so we're taking the boat on the school run to drop these kitties off. Then I'm gonna meet up with Mr. Shaw McCall, and we are gonna go grind away at Rice Lake to see if we can find some weed beds. If we find weed, we should catch a lot of walleye. If we don't find weed, this is gonna be the most boring vlog ever. Emma, Emma, congratulations again on your award. Thanks. Hey. Ashton, thanks for slamming that door open on me. <laughs> we'll get rid of these two, and then we're going fishing. Ash, am I gonna catch big fish today? No. Made it to Rice Lake. The kids are off to school. Little Ash Man is not happy he's not coming for a boat ride. He doesn't really like shore fishing, but he likes going out in the fear fishing battle wagon. Rice Lake is perfect. Found this guy. Sup, homie? Fishing. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped too. It'll be good fishing if we can find weed, and this is gonna be picking dandelions if we can't. Mm -hmm. It'll be a long day out there. Yeah. There's a ton of boats out there, so on like one of the most community weed lines on the planet, so probably check there first. Are you going into BJ's here to uh, put his kids through college? Yeah, I gotta get a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's start there. Ever have to come to Rice Lake to fish a tournament? Beautifully, BJ Tackle. Ben is open crazy early in the morning, so there's not very many places that are open before tournament starts, but this place, always open. What's up guys? Ian, how you doing? Good guys, how are you? Breakfast time. Breakfast time. Let's help Sean McCall shop. What are you buying, man? Jig heads, hair jig. Jig heads, hair jigs? My, boat. my boat's in uh, Chris Tatosky's shop. The, you were uh, the only, and he's in Poland. He's in Poland. Professional Polish angler, he Chris has, Tatoskas. Yeah, he's down there fishing professionally. Yeah, he's, right a, he's on the tournament trail. Uh, Poland. In Poland. Yeah. What do they catch there, Xander? Actually, they got, uh, they got pike there, I think. Xander too, like this giant walleye species. Yeah. Hair jigs down here, man. I hair jig. Ben's kids need to go to college. <laughs> Bounced off a couple fish. Things are going all right so far. I want to show you what we're looking for. This stuff in the Corthus, you are going to find all over the place. It is going to grow fast. It is going to grow thick and the fish don't like it. The bait fish don't like hanging out in this stuff, which means that when it gets really thick, the predator fish like walleye and bass don't like this. You find this, you may catch a couple fish like we have today so far. Throw that away. This stuff right here is milfoil, or what we like to call in Canada milfoil anyway. This stuff is gold. If you find milfoil that is green anywhere on the lake, there will be fish there. Largemouth, smallmouth, walleye. This is the kind of stuff that when it gets to the surface, it droops over and creates canopies underneath, which the bait fish, pan fish use to hide in. Find the milfoil, you'll find the money. Back to walleye. -ing. Lost a bunk 
and it's done the same thing again. Bloody thing. Bolts have pulled out of the bunk again. Shauna McCall and I have got to fix this. Quick fix. If we can get her out of the water, he thinks we can do it with some zip ties. Oh, it never ends. All right, Shawnee's got her jerry rig. Check this mission out. What's up, homie? I can MacGyver anything. MacGyver? Look at that. What kind of strap's that, man? That's uh, one for one of my tree stands, probably. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we got the, we got her. Strap that on there. We're gonna have to get new bunk for the trailer as soon as possible. Further we can get back out on the water catching fish. Well, if a guy had to blow a bunk on his trailer, this is the weekend to do it. Thunderstorms the next two days. Got the boat on the trailer safe and sound. It won't move now that all the weight's on it. McCall, we had a good day. Yep. Uh, the fish are still really scattered. The wind, weed's not up like it should be. But, a little bit late, yeah. Yeah, I think one spot we got multiple fish. The rest of it was like one here, one there, and scattered. then just kept moving and moving and moving. Always we have a good time. Thanks, buddy. Homie. I gotta go get those damn kids of mine. I gotta go cut the lawn. Have fun. Home, it is now time for everybody's favorite part of the vlog, the whiteboard. Jimmy J asked about fishing the main lake for walleye with bucktails. That's basically what we did today. First, before we get to how you're gonna fish your bucktail, the most important thing is to find weed. I'm not, I can't stress this enough. Yeah, that crummy weed I showed you is better than no weed, but milfoil is money. Remember that, write it down. That is probably, it is huge. That is probably some of the best advice I've ever received in my life. Milfoil is money. First, the easiest way to find weed is to use your, your chart plotter, you know, on, on your fish finders. If you don't have a chart plotter on your boat, you have a small tin boat, you fish out of a kayak, download the Navionics app. It, it's the exact same thing that's on my boat, but in your phone, that will help you tremendously. The best weed you can possibly find is a weed head. That's our weed. And they're not always gonna go straight and sometimes they come out and they have points. Adjacent to deep water. A weed edge that doesn't have deep water isn't going to not have fish, but is going to not probably not have as many fish. The, the drop off and the weed edge is like the spot on the spot on the spot you've heard other anglers talk about. How am I going to fish this? If I was bass fishing, I would put the old Stratus Battle Bird out here and cast in, fishing all this for bass. Walleye fishing, I'm gonna put my boat basically right on the weed edge. I like to, have, if this is my boat and I'm looking down, my left foot on the weeds and my right foot on the open water, and I'm just going to cast out. Those walleye may be, you know, in the weed, but casting a little bit in front of you is going to get those fish. I'll, I will be a betting man and I'm going to say that most of your fish are going to come to your right side out. Not in the weed, on the edge of the weed. And that's why we're fishing weed edges. Now, how do you fish a uh, hair jig? This is how I like to fish a hair jig. The number one thing most people do wrong is they make two way, their casts are way too long. All you need is maybe underhand pitch as far as you can throw it underhand. If you get too much line out, today I was making long bomb cast. My first, you know, one third of that long bomb cast, my jig's moving like it did before. It's sweeping rather than coming up. That's not good. But because there was no weed edges that we found or any real productive weed edges, I was just covering water. And if you go out next Saturday, it is going to be phenomenal. The weed is going to come up and the fishing is going to get good. So fishing a bucktail, you want to make like a, a pitch. Let that bucktail hit bottom. Snap it up, let it fall. 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 You're going to do that all the way back to the boat. If you do this, you will not believe how many times you catch a walleye underneath the boat, like in six feet of water. Set hook and the fish is right there. That is because walleye like to follow this. They're right behind your bait and right at the last second it comes up in front of them and they hit. Sometimes they'll hit here, sometimes they'll hit on the fall, but you will be shocked if you keep jigging that right to the boat how many times you'll catch fish right underneath you. I hope Jimmy J this answers your questions. Use all the tools available to you. Download the Navionics app if you don't have a chart prowler in your boat. The other key to finding weed edges, depending on how deep, how clear your lake is, the weed will grow a lot deeper in a clear lake. In a clear lake, maybe you might get weed edges in 15 feet of water. A lake like Rice that is normally a little dirtier, usually only gets weed edges in eight or 
nine feet. So if you find a weed edge in 89 feet on your leg or 10 feet, you can look on your Navionics chart and find, oh, there's a, you know, there's a line where it comes up from 20 to eight feet. It's probably a weed edge there. Go check it out, catch fish. Mercer Marine has already come up with ideas on how to fix the boat bunt. I'm not sure if we're redoing the whole thing or they're gonna fix them again. Andrew says he's got a huge idea. He's on the case. Man, if it wasn't for Bob and Andrew Mercer, I can't help tell you how many times this vlog would have been over with way before this. Heroes in the fear fishing keeping this going. Great day on the water with Sean McCall. The weed is not quite where it needs to be in order to get gigantic numbers in small locations. Right now the weed's up a little bit. It just means the fish are going to be spread out more. Find the milfoil, find the money. You want weed right to the surface in eight or nine feet of water. We actually caught some fish in close five feet of water today. They're just, they're all spread out. They're there. They're just spread out. Ripping the hair, black and silver is my choice for pulling the hair jigs. I really like uh, 3 8 ounce. Today I was using a quarter ounce, but when the wind picked up, I should have retied and put a, a 3 8 ounce head on. Tomorrow, it looks like we're gonna look at that boat trailer. If not tomorrow, then Sunday. Tonight, I'm gonna spend some time with the family. The weekend is looking like thunderstorms, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. Monday, there's a webcast. Make sure you tune in on Facebook. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and think of things. Great day overall. Make sure if you have any questions, put them on the YouTube comments. At some point, we'll either do a vlog and we'll answer them all at once or we'll just keep working them away. Jimmy J, thanks for that question. Been a great day. I hope this vlog doesn't run over 10 minutes. Really try to keep it under 10 minutes, but sometimes they lag. Follow on Instagram, follow on Facebook. You guys are amazing. Keep telling your friends, keep growing that number. Those numbers, the higher we get, you know, in subscribers and views, likes and comments, the more of this we can bring home to you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get those walleye. That weed's gonna come up and I will sh show you an absolute hurting on those walleye as soon as that happens. We'll see you soon.